Hey boys and girls, what we're going to be doing today is painting an American flag sky. So we're actually going to be using watercolor paper um, only because we don't have canvas and I wanted something a little bit sturdier that is going to lay flat um, instead of curl up when we use the paint. We are going to start by painting the entire paper except for this little um, edge at the bottom here blue. So I'm actually painting off of the edge of my paper to make sure that the edges are totally covered. And I'm gonna paint everything up until that very bottom part blue. Okay, so now I finished painting the background blue. I've left just enough space that I can hold down my paper um, without getting my fingers covered in paint. And what I'm gonna do is actually add a little bit of black paint to the top part here. So um, only about as wide as my paintbrush and I'm going to blend it into the sky. So I'm doing just like one strip of black and then I'm gonna go back to my blue and I'm gonna put my blue underneath of it and then I'm gonna blend them together to create like an ombre at the top, just like that. And I'm gonna go back over with my blue to touch up anything beneath that that may be showing through some of the paper. Maybe I didn't cover as well that first time, just like so. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to clean off my paintbrush and I'm gonna grab some red paint and I'm gonna add in strips of red, like a flag, just like that. I wanna be careful not to blend it back and forth too many times, but enough that, you know, it blends and looks, looks nice. You do wanna see those paintbrush lines. So this may take you going over it a few times to really get as much red as you want. I accidentally dipped my paint in the white. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna make sure I'm going all the way to the edge of that paper. Now, I am leaving a space right here because up here is where the stars are gonna go, which is you know, where the stars would go in American flag. So I don't wanna paint red stripes all the way across on the left side. Okay, so I'm gonna continue until I'm happy with the red paint. Once I'm done with the red paint, I'm going to wash and dry my brush off again. And this time I'm gonna grab the white and I'm gonna put a white stripe just above the red in each spot. Again, leaving this upper left corner free. Just like this. So I don't want I don't want my paints to you know blend in to be a light blue, but I also don't want you know bright white perfect stripes. Um, you kind of want it to blend just slightly because this is going to give it more of a look of the sky instead of being like a perfect American flag. All right, so now that we have our paint down, um, we're going to add in our stars. Since we already were, we were just using it, all you're going to do is just um, dip your paintbrush in there and you're just going to add in little dots, white dots. And if you want to, you can count to 50 or you can just add in as many as you would like, doing little dots, big dots, however you like it. And I'm going to add in some a little between the lines here too because they kind of look like stars. So that's really the goal of these, of real stars, I should say. Not stars on our flag, they, they're supposed to look like real stars in the sky. So you can put some in between your lines, just again, kind of staying in that upper left corner, so that way it's still looking like an American flag. All right, you guys see it coming together? So now, at this bottom part here that we've been ignoring, you are going to paint it black. So we're just gonna do a strip of black at the bottom. Just like so. I'm gonna make sure that my black is covering any leftover space that I may not have covered with my other paints. Just like that. 
All right, and now we're gonna move on to adding our trees to the sky. So when we do this, um, you're gonna grab a smaller paintbrush and you are going to hold it at an angle when you paint. And so we're gonna get the black paint and what you're gonna do is kind of dab on some small lines that get longer and longer as they get closer to that black line. And it, essentially what it's gonna create is like an evergreen tree or a pine tree, just like that. So I'm dab, dab, dab. Just like so. I'm gonna do as many trees as it takes to get me from this side of the page to this side. You wanna do trees of different heights um, and of different thicknesses just to give it some variety. And you can go back, um, you know, if you, if you see, if you feel like there's not enough black on there, some of the paint's mixing, you'll just go back and touch it up. Um, mistakes are not really a big deal when you're painting. Okay, so I'm gonna continue with my trees. All right, so now that I've used that line dabbing technique, I'm gonna go back through with my black paint and I'm gonna fill in kind of the center of those trees just to blend it into the bottom here. So right now I'm just painting kind of normal, but I'm gonna go back and again using that dabbing technique and kind of touch up again. I'm just going through the middle, I'm not, I'm not touching the edges of the tree here. I just want everything to kind of blend into that, that bottom black part. So now I'm gonna go back with my paintbrush and just add in some texture. So those areas that I may have smoothed out, I'm just dabbing to give the trees some texture so that they look, you know, like, like those evergreen trees. Instead of being all smooth, you want them bumpy. All right, now this next part is optional, but if you would like um, to kind of make it a little look a little bit more 3D, you can use some white paint. And on the tops of those branches that you made, you're gonna just dab this on. Just like so. And then you're gonna blend it just a little bit. I'm gonna do that on each one of my branches. And now that I've added in my white, um, which kind of creates, I mean, I feel like it makes it look more 3D, but it also kind of looks like snow and I like it, but you don't have to add it because otherwise it'll just look like, you know, how trees normally look in a night nice sky, which is black because um, there's no light. So that's fine leaving it that way. Um, but if you want, you can add that and you could also do a little bit on the bottom as well. Just kind of dabbing across where that tree line is. Just a little bit. Again, I'm, I'm kind of mixing it in with the black paint when I dab it, creating like a gray. I don't want it to be super white on the page. So I'm just kind of creating a ground line here. All right, boys and girls, this is your American flag sky. Have fun. Can't wait to see what you make.